Okay, hello everybody. Back to Chainsaw Carving. Um, so this is a centerpiece of that old schoolhouse that I made for charity. They never picked it up, so then I carved a wishing well out of it. This is Western Red Cedar, second growth, so it's not the best cedar, but it will still be good. So I've been asked to carve a penguin. So it's always good to have reference pieces. I've never carved a penguin before, so let's see how this goes. It's always good to have reference pictures for um, the piece that you're going to do. Don't think you're uh, cheating by doing it. I just got this to see the color. I'm not going to paint this. It's for my friend that has the honeybees here for his granddaughter. She wants a penguin, and she wants to paint it herself. So, um, yeah, I guess let's just begin the carving. I'm going to be using my 170 and two 193s to uh, get this sucker done. So I don't even know what's going on. It's going to have a base, okay? So that, that line there is a base for it because I can't just carve the feet. If I carve feet like this, well, they'll break off. So the feet need to be on a base. Okay, so I got all the new lighting hooked up. I hope the lighting's better for all you guys. Um, it's better for me here, too. It's, everything's brighter so I can see more. Um, so I'm going to do a straight cut across here with my uh, MS-170. It's just got a stock bar on it. Um, but then I'm going to lift this up onto my jaw horse. I don't want to be cutting too low right today because I don't have my uh, chainsaw pants here. And, guys, or chaps. I should get a pair of chaps just to have here for when I get my chainsaw carving pants. And safety for chainsaw carving is so important because it's very dangerous, you know. This chainsaw, if I put my arm here, this thing will cut right through your, this thing can cut your hand off. So just be safe. Uh, ear protection, uh, eye protection, and your chainsaw, if your chainsaw pants or chaps and gloves. And also, I, when I'm here, I always wear my steel toes, right? Boots or shoes. And they suggest boots, but I'm wearing shoes. But anyways, I'll get this cut across here. can see here I got a kind of like a side view and well I got a side view this is no this is this would be a front view but his head's turned so let's look at the front there's his wings and his or his little flipper things and his head's turned so and then there's a front side view okay so his head's straight so I want to make his head straight I want it to be like this okay I might give him a little bit of a thicker beak because I don't want the beak to break off because it's for a little kid so um, anyways, what I'm going to do right now is get my saw cut along this bottom here, so I, it will give it a base, right? So let's do that. Let's just clean up the whole thing first. How about I do that and I'll be back. Okay, there you can kind of see what's going on. So, um, oh boy. Uh, his flippers will be, they start right here. Okay. 
and we'll give this guy some more shape here. And they got tails too, so let's go for that. You want to try and make things equal on both sides, so. I don't know. Uh, that looks like a fat little penguin. Okay, so penguin shape. Um, cut them in the tail. I didn't need to fold. I cut right through. Um, I'm going to have to get cut, put that mampa sign back up over that lake because it just kind of gets in the way for this thing. Anyways, so let's give you a full 360 of this. I just looked up uh, some penguins online, just like resting penguins. I found, uh, I'll, put a, I'll put a picture here right now. And then I found a list of uh Penguins, different types of penguins, and all penguins don't have long skinny beaks, so this guy's going to have a short skinny beak, and I'll put a picture of the list of the penguins now, so just Google whatever you want to, Google what are your carve, whatever you're carving, and look at pictures, so, his feet are cut in, I'm never really good at doing the, uh, the faces, because I always, mine are always bigger, bulkier things, like native kind of style, so, Looks like a fat penguin to me. So let's, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw this on. I need to look at the picture when I'm drawing it on and I'll carve this out and we're getting there. I'll sand it all and just, it's a simple shape of a penguin for a little girl. This wing's a little bit thicker. Who cares? I wish I was going to be able to paint this thing, but uh, I can't. Little girl wants to paint it. Or maybe his daughter wants to paint it. But So there we go so far. Um, so now I'm going to go along with my... Uh, you guys. You're going to do sanding. This works really good. This is what I'm going to go around, sand this whole thing. You know, normally I just kind of burn, give it a quick sand, burn it and call it, paint it and call it done. But I got to get rid of these chainsaw marks on it for her because, well, again, she wants to paint it. So I think the head's okay, don't you? What do you think?
Looks like a penguin to me. When you use that sander, you get these marks in here. But the more that you use it, the more that you'll learn how to not get those little marks from the edge of the sandpaper. Now it looks like a fat carving fusion penguin to me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to burn all here. Okay, I'm going to burn inside here. To give it a dirt, I'm going to burn around the wing. Okay, on all, all here. And probably under the chin. And then I'm thinking about using the eyeball uh, mampa burr to give it an eyeball here. So, anyways, carry on. Okay, so you guys can see I got all the burning done there. Okay. Same on the other side. Let's see how equal it is from here. Pretty good. Pretty good. Not everybody can afford a sandal flex, so... I got this uh, uh, nylon wheel from the hardware store. It was 20 bucks. bucks. Uncle Kevin swears by the red wheel. So I'm gonna run around, quickly sand everything up, um, like the bottom here where I did the burns, and um, then we'll put the eyes in. Okay, so you can see I got the two dot, uh, well, there's a dot on one side. So here's that homemade eyeball cutter that I made. I have a video on here, you guys. You can see, if you go back to like my last 10 videos, you'll see I made this. So I'm going to go along here and cut this eye in and the other eye in. Okay. So you can see that's just a simple form of the eye. But, you know, they'll be able to paint white wherever they want. They'll be able, I can do lots of details around here to make it look super cool. But there's no need for this because it's for a little child to paint. And she'll be able to have fun painting this eye and do whatever she wants to do. So, um, because this wood, on, like you can see right here, there's a crack on the wing. And let's switch over to the other side. There's a crack here. Goes all the way down. So um, let's just uh, give it a clear coat to kind of seal it up a bit, right? So this is that uh, rust all of clear mat. And um, they, she can paint over top of this too, right? So this is just sealing it up for them. So hopefully it doesn't crack uh, much more. Don't forget to sign it. Okay, so there you guys go. First carving fusion penguin. Simplified for a little kid to be able to, car to uh, paint it and have fun. Yep. It's all sealed good. Let this stuff dry out more. Let's look at it this way. Looks not bad to me. Just a simple carving. Just pretend like Larry Dibbs says. Pretend it's a bowling ball. Carve a bowling ball and to put a head on it. There you go. There's a penguin. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, charge my phone here and carve this piece of Pacific U wood. Yeah, I'm going to carve a wood spirit. Why not, right? Oh, yeah. Happy Sunday, everybody. Happy Sunday. <laughs> Hi, Liz. Okay, so this is all for today. I love this yew wood. You guys, if you can get wood like this that has different colors, make sure you leave some of the different colors in there to give the whole piece different textures, right? Maybe tomorrow I'll come back and carve another wood spirit down here and make it like a full um, little totem piece. Anyways, hope you guys are all good and um, having fun and being safe. Don't forget everybody. If you get two vaccines, you can still get the virus. Sure can. I know somebody that happened to.